Uh, hi, I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. <laughs>
all cacti, all trees, three laps of supercharge, under 115, under 115, perfect, hit Ripto, under 110, and perfect again. Um, honestly, don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get all of them. The Ripto fight is somewhat manageable, but that golf fight can be brutal. Now, the one change to the controls that they did in this game was when you glide and you press Y, you now hover instead of drop down. So anyways, let's see what this mouse is Hi, up to. Spyro. Welcome to Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems! Can you stop them? Yeah, so, when you kill an enemy, they'll give you those little spirit particles, which then, in every single level, there's gonna be like a mini power-up type thing that they fuel. Every single level has one. So, supercharge, glide, fireball, all that stuff that we're used to in Spyro, yeah, they're gonna be obtained via that way. Also, every level in World 1 and 2 has a talisman, Every level in the game, other than bosses, has 400 gems, and then the orb count varies anywhere from 2 to 4. There's no more than 4 orbs per level, and no less than 2. Well, I guess speedways technically only have 1. Actually, do they only have 1? Yeah, because you normally get gems, and then there's the hidden challenge. You can hear the lizards down below going, Ugh. Honestly, this game was probably the most well-made of the Spyro Trilogy, simply because they had the most time on it. Spyro 1, I'm not entirely sure what the time, like, how long they had to make that game was, because it was a good game, but it was also pretty early on in Insomniac's career. And, yeah, well, we know them to make games like Ratchet and Clank, uh, Marvel Spider-Man, stuff like that, so they've really come a long way you know, since they first started, and man, I definitely appreciate their up in quality. I still haven't played the new Ratchet and Clank yet, even though I really want to, but it's something I can't play right now. Hi Spyro, I'm a friend of Alora's, and she asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress. Like this. That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. Yeah, so... It's just a checkpoint, like the dragons were in the first game. Zoe then becomes a... Uh, like a staple in all Spyro games as a checkpoint. This guy right here is Moneybags, and he's going to be an annoying character that you see pretty much for the rest of the Spyro series. We did see him in Enter the Dragonfly for a little bit, and that was not a pleasant surprise, because for some reason he's only in one level. And he takes quite a few gems for no apparent reason. And it makes no sense, because even in this game, you will eventually get your gems back. It's just, in that game, for whatever reason, you don't get those gems back. They're just there for no reason. Also, you cannot 100% this level. This is one of a few levels in the game that you can't 100%, because we don't have the ability to climb ladders like Enter the Dragonfly has. There's actually three abilities you learn to use in this game, and the latter happens to be number two. So even if we do, you know, complete every level in this world, it won't help us. Ah, you must be the dragon everyone's talking about. Well, dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you a hundred of your gems to cross. Uh, of course. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Uh, Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. Ah oh, yes, free of charge after paying for it. The logic behind money bags is stupid. Around, press the action button. Try using okay, we already we already know that. I'm not gonna go over the old controls because, like I said, the old controls are the exact same. And they're pretty much the exact same in every Spyro game, except for A Hero's Tale, which, for some reason, they inverted the, uh, the charge and flame buttons. Everything else is pretty much the same, except for, like, the added stuff, obviously. Because the added stuff is just new to that game. But for whatever reason, um, they inverted the charge and flame controls, which is really difficult to get used to if you're used to playing literally any other Spyro game ever made. Also, I like how this level kind of has like a sunset vibe going on, where it looks like the sun's setting. 
So these guys eat the gems, which is why they're trying to harvest them. Or, like, steal them from the guys who harvest them. So I wonder if all the gems throughout any of the Dragon Kingdoms technically come from Glimmer. Because this is Glimmer. I don't know if it ever tells you yet if we're in Glimmer. Also, why did that not hover? I always hated this one specific part of the level because it doesn't... Oh, wait a second. I want to try that again. Okay, that was weird. It never... I don't think it actually tells you exactly why... Or, like, where the gems come from, or if they all come from a different world. Because Avalor is not a dragon kingdom. It's a completely different world without dragons. And then Spiral 3, it's the Lost Worlds, or the Forgotten Worlds, I think they're called. Forgotten Worlds, I'm pretty sure. Which is where the dragons used to originate from before they all ended up in where they are in Spiral 1. And then the Legend of Spiral series once again reboots where all the dragons are. And they have, like, a completely different, unique world. So, first things first is we want to talk to this guy over here to do this challenge. Great! The Superfly power-up is active, and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power-up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. Yeah, so, for whatever reason, not all of the challenges have a difficulty meter. And I think that was like a, a production issue with the game being rushed, and they forgot to do that. So what you have to do is you have to go around and flame all six if you want the achievement for this level. Make sure you do it all in one round, like without touching the ground, and you'll get the achievement. Super easy achievement. And yeah. So there we go. Boom. Thanks for helping me light the lamp, Spyro. A fairy gave me this orb, but I like gems better. You take it instead. Also, a thing that they ruined in this game was the orbs used to bounce from the character giving it to you to Spyro. And for some reason they removed that. So we can only get two of the three orbs. So the other orb is right here with These little Bounce. Up. Wizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. Alright, so what you have to do is you take that, aim, fire. Nice shooting! Follow me to the next lizard. In the original, a fun fact, which they removed by the way, which is nice, is if you outran him, he'd stop and you'd have to go back for him. In this game, he just keeps going. One nice feature they added. You can spit pretty far, Spyro. See if you can spit all the way to the lizard. Yeah, this is just to get you into the whole, um, like, aiming down sights kind of thing. Get you used to things that come later on in the game, which is pretty useful. Kind of like how we both hop. If you hit that lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press the action button to aim, then press the attack button to spit. Wait, why are you telling me how to spit now? Seems kind of weird. Also, you don't want to be too close to him, because then you'll reactivate his dialogue and it's just... Obnoxious. Now why I'm doing this is because technically we still have to get the talisman. And then we'll probably go do what we can of the home world. And then we'll call it an episode. We'll probably end up getting like maybe one to two levels done per episode, because the levels in this game are definitely longer than Spiral 1, where you can technically do like an entire world in 20 minutes. You can't do that in this game. This game is definitely on the lengthier side, not in terms of like hours, but like the levels are longer. There's less levels altogether, but they're longer. Spiral 3 is kind of a different one, it's kind of in between. The levels are about... Some of the levels can be long because of like certain minigame sections and like exploration factors. But honestly, Spiral 2 I think is technically the longest in terms of everything, but... Spyro 3 has more going on, and there's more collectibles. Spyro 3 has the most things to collect out of, I think, any Spyro game. I think. Uh, Hero's Tale might have more combined, but there we go. Yay! You've saved my crop of gems from the lizards! Here, take this orb. Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. Yesterday? We just got here today. 
But there we go, that's the second orb and the only other orb we can get here. The only other thing we can get here is the talisman, because we need to get up there, and obviously there's going to be another lamp lighting one, and the gems are up there as well. So once again, sadly, can't 100% this level, but that's going to be a trend in any Spiral game to come. You guys seen that through a few of my other Let's Plays. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. And like I said, every level has one of these except for the final world's levels. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. Alright, and there's three home worlds in this game. The least amount of home worlds in any Spyro game, by the way. Even the Game Boy games have more. So yeah. We're only missing um uh forty-seven more gems, so nice. No. Oh, hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi. I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah. They gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What? Is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's Worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? <gasps> if you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Hmm, that's a little, um, optimistic there, Spyro. Also, unlike Spyro 1, the homeworlds do not have enemies. Also, water no longer hurts you. But, there's actually something interesting about water in this game. You can't swim yet. You can't dive. I'm pressing X and I can't dive. Or square if you're on PlayStation. Or I think it's X on Switch as well, or is it Y? I, I don't remember. Switch controls always kind of confuse me. Because I don't play a lot of Nintendo games. Like, I know the buttons when I'm playing Nintendo games. I just don't remember them off by heart, like which one's which. And that's just me. So it looks like we're only missing the gems through here. I don't want to talk to Alora here because she doesn't really give you any advice. Also, if you fail this jump, what happens is Hunter will appear. So let's say I fall down here. Then when we go back up, Hunter should be able to give us advice. Also, there's a whirlwind here, but there's also stairs with gems, so I don't know why you take the whirlwind. Also, frogs. We all know what fodder does. It heals you if Spark takes damage, but we haven't even taken any damage yet, so... Yeah, and see, there's Hunter. And he'll tell you about the whole gliding thing. I'll just show you guys. I'm not gonna go through it. Yeah, see, he tells you about gliding. Technically, you don't even need to glide to make that. Money bags here is where you'll learn to swim. Uh, that Zoe just changes your camera angles, if you want. You can just do that in the options, though, so I don't know why you'd actually ever just go to Zoe for it. I think they just kept true to the original having Zoe there. Um, these vases, you can't flame, but they will drop gems if you charge them. Now this hunter, on the other hand, they'll have an orb above their head if they have a challenge for you. So keep that in mind if you want to collect the orbs. I think you only need 11 or 12 orbs for the entire game if you really want to beat it. Which is really, really weird considering it's like this huge gimmick throughout the game. And yet it's not very emphasized. 
Not like Spyro um, 3, where the collectible in that game is extremely necessary. Also, they didn't darken the purple gems in this version. Also, this waterfall is kind of weird, because it just goes into nothing. Ah, uh, this is my favorite level in this world, by the way. Once again, you can't 100% that level, so we can't go there yet. Well, we can, but it's kind of a waste if we go there, because you can't end up doing anything, and it's hey, just stupid. Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. Okay, we're, we're not going to go over his dialogue. I've already taught you guys how to do this. Also, they added okay. water to these platforms, which looks really good. The, the water effect here is nice. Nice, jo nice job. Because we need 500 gems to get the ability to swim, and you cannot possibly get 500 gems until you go Very to another good. level. Also, I don't know why it says the uh, analog stick there, but wow, whatever. You're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. Why do you have it? Also, Hunter becomes a main character since this game, and he always returns. I didn't really care for him in uh, A Hero Style, because it made him kind of like... He's always been cocky, but they made it in not a fun way. So anyways, I think that'll do it for this episode, because all that's left is going to a level... And it'll take up an entire episode to probably do this level, because this one we can 100%. So in the next episode, we will be doing Colossus. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like on the video. It helps the channel a lot. Comment anything you like about the game or what you want to see. Remember to join the Discord and the Patreon in the links below to talk about gaming stuff or, or you know, purchase what Let's Play we will be playing next. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.